March is Women's History Month, and tonight we are taking a look at Ambassador Barbara Barrett. Yeah, she's the namesake for Arizona State's uh, Barrett Honors College, and Fort Hatchett chatted with her about how she uh, helped open doors for women in the armed services. Barbara Barrett has already lived a very full life. She's rubbed elbows with the Dalai Lama, trained to be an astronaut, served as ambassador to Finland, and even summited Mount Kilimanjaro. But before all that, she had a much different vision for her life when asked about her future plans by a neighbor growing up. I was already conditioned to know that I had three options. As a girl, I could be a teacher, a secretary, or a nurse. But Barbara's dad encouraged her not to settle. He just said matter-of-factly, why not a doctor? And that um, lifted my sight. That took me from thinking I have three options to thinking, oh, I'm a girl, but I could be a doctor, and changed everything. Barrett moved to the Valley to attend ASU, where she rode her motorcycle while juggling as many as five jobs on top of classes. Eventually, she headed to ASU Law School and landed an internship at the Arizona Capitol, where she helped write the bill that created ADOT. Her real passion was aviation, and she was eventually nominated by President Reagan to be the first female deputy director of the FAA and sworn in by one of her mentors, Justice Sandra Day O'Connor. We had a president that took a chance, took a chance on a young um, student that, uh, that he thought might be able to, to do the job. In the 90s, Barrett became the first Republican woman to run for governor of Arizona. An accomplished pilot herself, Barrett also fought to end laws that prohibited women in the armed services from flying bombers or fighter jets. If we are in a battle, we want the very best people in the cockpit, not by gender, but by capability. Today, there are women across the globe flying fighters and bombers, including right down the road at Luke Air Force Base, where Barrett recently met an F-35 squadron commander. A graduate of the Air Force Academy, whose mother also graduated from the Air Force Academy. She was precluded from flying fighters or bombers. She flew tankers, but uh, her daughter is now flying fighters. Barrett went on to serve as Secretary of the Air Force from 2019 to 2021, shepherding the creation of the Space Force. She hopes the next generation of leaders can borrow from her philosophy. Work well with others, learn as much as you can, be interested in the outcomes, be interested in making good things happen, and, and think in the long term. Fort Hatchett, ABC 15, Arizona.